So today, we finally got around to putting up our second EG4 3000 watt off-grid inverter. And we have them with this up here running in parallel. And we actually ran the output from this one into this electrical panel and this one right here into this electrical panel. So we have a 30 amp breaker down here that is running our 18,000 BTU mini split that uses 230 volts. And then we have this breaker right here is for this outlet and this breaker right here is for this outlet right here. So we have 4,000 watts connected to this one and we have 4,000 watts connected to this one using the new bifacial solar panels that are 400 watt with a possibility of up to 500 watt per panel bifacial gain on that. And what's really interesting is the bifacials so far are giving me about 88% of the 400 watts or around 350 watts as where those used poly panels are only giving me about 44% of the 250 watts. So I'm only getting like 112 watts out of the used poly panels and it's only 44% of the 250 watts. So that's a huge disparity. Um, we're gonna take in, um, go out and I'll show you those uh, solar panels and right now they're getting um, the solar panels the polys and the um, mono bifacials are pretty much getting full sun you can see that 250 watts, there's a, uh, four panels is 1,000 watts. There's eight panels, so that's 2,000 watts. Now, there's one array. Those are all in series. And then here's the other array right here. And you can see on these, they're getting full sun. There's, there's really no, a uh, little bit right here. There's really no shade on there, on those solar panels. So we've got 2,000 watts, 2,000 watts, that's 4,000 watts. Those are all eight panels in series, eight panels in series. And then we parallel them right here and then run the wire into the garage. Now we have 16 solar panels there to get 4,000 watts. And over here, we only have 10 solar panels to get 4,000 watts. So big difference and those poly panels are only putting out a third of what these brand new mono bifacials are putting out and right now you can see it's shaded under here but there's actually light reflecting up there you can see it uh see if i can get it there you go you can see the light reflecting pretty good off of that ground and off of the rock so the uh what's really funny is i had i had that pool heater connected and i was only able out of 10,000 watts of poly panels 250 watt poly panels i was only able to get 4500 watts so that's 24 panels for 6000 and then another 16 so that's 40 solar panels to get 4,500 watts. And I had 10 of these bifacial solar panels giving me over 3,500 watts. So, I mean, another two of these solar panels would have given me 4,500 watts. 12 of these solar panels, and they're almost the same exact size. I think they're five inches longer and two inches wider um from these so they're going lengthwise they're five inches 
longer about right to here and then there they come out like an extra two inches on this way so for every three mono panels i have i'm producing the same amount with just one of those um bifacial mono 400 watt up to 500 watt bifacial gain panels so huge difference if i were to take and put um i could actually put uh there's 24 on here so i could put 20 solar panels on there and that would be 8,000 watts with a um up to 10,000 watt uh, bifacial gain and i would still have room for two more solar panel or um four more solar panels so I could get 24 solar panels on there and almost get 12,000 watts on this one array using those bifacials. So that is huge. Now, all I would have to do is split that up into 12 panels on, well, it'd be 12 panels on each string because there's two different MPPT chargers on that. But I wouldn't be able to run those in series because the um, grow watt kilowatt, uh, grow watt 12 kilowatt inverter is only 150 volt DC solar panel input as where those EG4 3000s are 500 uh, volt DC solar panel input. So I think we're gonna be buying a lot more of those um, bifacial mono solar panels. And the nice, nice thing about those mono panels is when they're shading on them, I'm still going to get a really decent amount in that solar array as where I have uh, four of these panels are in series. So I have six sets of four on this array. And if I have a little bit of shade on one of them, it pretty much kills that four panel array. As where if I have a little bit of shading on those over there, even though I can put them in 10 for that EG4 3000 watt, which is actually 5000 watt inverter input, um, I can actually put 10 of those in um, series and I'm only at 370 watts because they're only 37. So I could get like 13 um, solar panels in series and still stay below 500 volt. And that's huge because that is 13 those are like 13 point something amps per solar panel versus these are only like eight something but i'm only getting 112 watts so i'm getting a third of that i'm not even getting three amps out of one of these solar panels and i'm probably getting 12 amps at least out of one of those solar panels so 12 amps versus maybe two amps you know i mean I need like three to four of these poly panels to give me the same amperage that I'm maybe five of those solar panels to give me the same amperage that I get out of this one over here. So there is a huge disparity. Those mono bifacial half cells totally kick the butt on these poly panels. And now, these were like $30 to $38. Now, some of them I might have even got for $25. But when it takes three to four of these, the, the room that you have to have to have three to four of those versus just one of those, it's worth, I think I paid $120 for that solar panel. So if you're paying $30, $40 a solar panel, that's, that's um, $90 to $120 that you're spending to get four of those solar panels when that one solar panel for 120 bucks is going to give you better output than these four put together. And those are used and I'm already having, I'm already having issues with them where um, there's problems. Whenever you see, whenever you start seeing these brown marks right here, that's something going on on the backside. So like right here and here, I'm seeing these brown marks. If we look here, you'll see right there, that's actually a burn mark. See right there on those, those two right there? 
that solar panel's failing. I'm gonna have to take that off and replace it. So, yeah, I got these for 30 to $40 pretty much, but it's only been like two, three years, and this one's already failing on me, as where that one over there's got a 20-year guarantee on it. So, you know, I started out with the, the used solar panels because I didn't have a lot of money. And not that I have a lot of money now, but I'm gonna spend my money more wisely. I was able to buy a lot of these solar panels really cheap. You know, they were having really good sales, you know, where for 300 bucks you could get 10 solar panels, that's 2,500 watts. But in reality, you're probably only getting um, maybe 1,000 to 1,100 watts out of that 2,500 watts in reality. So, and when they're starting to fail in such a short period of time, that's like the third one I've had fail this year since January 1st of 2024, and it's April 22nd. So, um, now that I'm using these solar panels and it, the technology in the last four years is just insane, the improvements they made. The efficiency on these are, it's only 44% of what the stated gain is, but they say that on the website, they're 15% efficient and these are 21% efficient, but that's given me 88% of, um, out of 88% as where we're only getting 44% on this, but 44% of 250 watts, 88% out of 400 watts, big difference in that. So if you actually look at that um, to do a comparison, it'd be like two of these, it'd actually be 44% of 500 watts versus 88% um, of 400 watts. So anyways, just wanted to share that with you that we've got that um, EG4 3000 watt inverters in parallel and that they've been running great um, and I'll tell you what I have that like I said I have that one with that array right there I will run I have two server rack batteries that are 5120 volt 100 amp hour batteries so that's 200 amp hours it'll get down to 120 amp hours overnight running three freezers, a fridge and a freezer, and my pool pump overnight. And by nine o'clock in the morning, I've already got my battery completely fully charged again. So at eight o'clock in the morning, I can start using my air conditioners, um, either the one in the garage that's directly um, wired to that, or I can plug one or two of the other ones in that I have them on plugs and move them around. And I'm able to start running that AC at 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, right now, we're, we're running our AC and thermally cooling the house till about 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Get our house down to about 64, 66 degrees upstairs, downstairs, and in the garage. And then we turn the AC off. And then we don't run it until the next day at like 8 o'clock in the morning. And it's usually about 68 to 72 degrees, depending on... Um, the garage downstairs or upstairs. So the uh, downstairs is actually a little bit warmer than the upstairs. Usually it'd be the opposite, but we actually um, cool the upstairs. There's a lot less room upstairs to cool than um, the downstairs. So anyways, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'll see you in the next video and hope you have a truly wonderful and extremely blessed 2024.